Hi everyone, this is Laura from Grain & Company and today I'm going through uh, our tutorial for our farmhouse windmill DIY kit. Uh, in your kit you will have um, your base, your windmill stand with three um, cross pieces here as well as the inside and the outside of your windmill. You'll need both those pieces and the front. So let's get started. So I'm going to begin by staining my base here in all of its pieces. If you want to do your base a different color like black or or whatever, you're more than welcome to do whatever works for you. So I'm doing mine in the whole wheat stain. It doesn't take much. And you'll have your foam brush here as well. Okay, so you also need a piece of paper towel. Usually I have the blue shop towels, but it looks like I'm out here at home. So, so take your foam brush, give it a dip in the stain, and then I like to turn it uh, sideways and just wipe it on. Now you can, if you want, do the underside. Um, you won't really see it, so it's not necessary. And then just clean out anything in there as well. And same with this one. You won't need to stain the underside because that will be the part that's glued together with your base other side. give it away. Make sure you're wiping with the grain. This one, the grain is going side to side. So I'm giving it an initial wipe because it's easier to do it the long ways, but just go the other way after just to make sure it takes away any streaks that may appear. And then it just looks a little bit more natural. Okay, and I'm gonna do these three pieces. Now these ones have adhesive on the side, so you only have to stain one side of these as well. Set those off to the side, and then this one we'll do on both sides just because um, it will just look more finished that way. So I'm actually going to start in the back, and I really want to watch, make sure I'm not getting any drips on the table, especially if you are going to lay this flat. I'm just going to lift it up here because it's just a little easier. then I would give this a wipe as soon as you're done. And then just watch all of your corners and such that you don't have any stain puddles in there. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it over and do the front. this 
this one first here. Okay, so then I'm just going to leave this to dry and then just watch the other side, flip it over, make sure nothing has dripped through, and then just leave that to dry as well. Okay. Okay, so next you're going to need your uh, top of your windmill. Now this piece here um, is just to help with the placement. Now, um, instructed by the designer of this file, you can, once they put this piece on top, if you just put a little bit of glue in the middle, you should just be able to spin this a little bit, not super fast, but you should be able to gently move this um, just a little bit. It's hard when I'm not but that, that's the design of the piece. Um, if you don't worry, if you're not gonna worry about whether that can spin, then we can just stick the whole thing on top and it doesn't move. But we'll need this piece and this piece to be able to keep that uh, paint job the same. You're going to need your bubble wrap eventually as well. And then you will also need a white, uh, we're doing uh, a lamp white base and then we're going to have um, three different shades of gray to do this part here. So we want to begin with uh, our lightest gray color and we're going to do lamp white. Okay, so you'll want your makeup sponge and some paper towel Oops. and then do a dip in your paint and then blot a good portion of that off so you're not going to make a huge mess and just go around and do one coat. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be going over it with um, a marbling of other colors so it doesn't have to have a super even base as long as you've got it covered at least once. Okay, so, and then if you want to, you can wipe off some of those edges with your baby wipe. Now there's just way too many edges so I'm not gonna be concerned too much about all of them. I'm just gonna come in here and do the ones that go around the sides here. other spots you don't like you can always come in there and do those but if you start doing the sides you're gonna be just um, going crazy trying to get them all so for me just that one outer rim is fine and uh, we'll make the rest work okay so we're just gonna give that one a minute to dry and I'm gonna do this one here Same thing. Just give this a wipe. And then we're just going to let that 
dry. Okay, so it's gonna just take a minute, so I will be right back while that dries, and then we will continue on. Okay, I'm back, that was just a few minutes. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do um, is give this a sand. So this is fairly rough just from doing that first coat of paint. So you'll take your 400 grit sandpaper and just gently go around and smooth that out. nice and smooth and then you can do this piece too. Okay, so that is done. Now, uh, if you can find yourself um, a little tray or a paper plate or something like that, then you can put on um, a little bit of paint and be able to marble it a little bit better there. So we're gonna do um, our stone color and then a little bit of white. Let's see what we've got in here. I'm gonna let that one sit upside down. Give that one a minute. I'll do a little bit of ash. Well, well, that was way more than a little. Um, and let's do white here. I knew that was going to happen. All right. I'm just going to add a little bit more pebble. This is way more than I need, but so with your bubble wrap, what it's going to do, it's going to help create that steel texture. And so you just kind of want to fold it a bit so you can get a nice edge there kind of. So then you just want to pull out a little bit and kind of um, like a little spot here. Now you're not trying to blend all three, but once you go to dab in it, that has way too much black. Hold on. Or ash, I guess. I'm just going to blot that off. Actually, let's take my paper towel. So I want to have a bit more. See, as you can see, just on the paper towel, that's what it's going to do. So a little bit more of the lighter. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more white here and a little bit more gray. And you'll just keep doing this and building up and layering until you're quite happy with um, this. So we're just going to start. So just keep going around. See, so you can see already that you get that steel texture just marbled there. And it's best to start less and you can build up those colors so you don't getting a whole bunch in, in the little crevices there. And if you had a little metallic paint, you could put a little tiny bit in there so it can help give it a little bit of a, shi uh, a shimmer. But and then just keep moving your um, bubble wrap around so it's not showing like whole bunch of little circles you kind of are marbling it a bit there. I'm just trying to work out of the same color palette at first so that way when I go to add some other color after it'll kind of still be a bit the same. And it really doesn't take much to do this at all so So let's see, what do I want to do here? 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna go and add a little bit more of the gray. Oops, I don't need it there. Right here, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that gray. I'm just gonna tone down that black a little bit. And actually, I might even add a little bit of white to it too, so I might just do its pile over here. Okay. So you can see I've got the white and gray going right now, so it's kind of lightening that darker area there. And yeah, you just keep playing with it until you like what you've created. Don't forget those little pieces over there too. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry for a second and don't forget about this piece because you kind of want to keep it fairly consistent. and see if it's blending with what you're doing so far. So, let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm going to add just a little bit of the a different gray. I'm gonna add what's called Little Lamb gonna pour a little bit from my bottle over here. There we go. I'm just gonna come back. I'm just gonna flip this over. That and I'm gonna block most of that off, and I'm just gonna add there. That kind of helps balance the grays.
Okay, I think I'm liking that fairly well. Let's see what that looks like on top there. So yeah, that looks kind of like old metal right now. So I'm just gonna let it dry and we can look at it a bit in a moment and see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side and by now these should be dry so you can go ahead and give these a sand. Now you want it to do it uh, so that it'll smooth out the wood but if you want to distress it and wear away as some of the edges you can do that as well. Sanded, not sanded. And then you can give this a wipe. to this. Same thing, but you're just going to be a little bit gentler so you don't get caught in those openings. Now we can come back to this. Now it's still fairly rough because we were not, because um, we had a lot of texture with our baby wipe. So I'm just going to gently sand over it just so it feels smooth. Don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on that. And here so when we cut this one this one doesn't have adhesive on the back and neither does this so you will need to put some glue on the back and set it in that scored circle there so let me go grab my glue okay so I'm just using the Gorilla glue in the in the gel format I really like that one because it sticks really really well so you're just gonna put some you can either do here or here I'm just gonna stick a little bit in that area there and then I'm gonna set this circle to dry so I'll just line it up with that score mark so there should be a little line all the way around Give it a press. If you have any seepage of glue because you put too much on, just wipe it away. 
I'm just going to give that a few minutes to set and then I will come back and we will just show you how to do the rest of it. Be right back. Actually, while we're waiting with that, we can put these on. So grab these and set them across. Now they'll fit exactly on their cross bits here. So just feel first, don't push on it yet. So in case you, um, then it sticks really, really well. So just kind of lay it on top, move it around. And then when you're good with it, then you can press it into place. And then one more. Good. Okay, set those in place. Just check on this. Okay, that's dry. Now, before we get that top on, we're going to do the bottom. So, if you didn't sand this uh, well enough um, and your wood is swollen a bit or you've painted this, make sure that it fits in here first before you go and try and glue it together. So, this will fit in nicely there so I like to get that in there if it doesn't then just take your sandpaper with this off and uh, give it a sand and then the next part you're going to do is just double check make sure that fits and then so you're gonna stand it like that so once we know that everything fits properly you're gonna take these out and then we're gonna set put a little bit of glue yeah, you don't want too, too much. So it's gonna seep all over. Now I'm using wood glue for this because I only put these bigger areas. I don't mind that. Okay, now what I usually like to do is, and I'm gonna still do it that way, is I'm gonna get this one on first. Now don't push it down all the way because it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom and then I'm going to set this one in its slot and then I'm going to put it flat on the table make sure everything is where it needs to be and give it a press that way you know those slots are going to be lined up just perfect for this to go in there and if any glue is seeping out you can give that a wipe and I'm good with it, so if I'm careful enough, I should be able to just yank that out. Um, especially if you don't want this to get stuck in there and you can take it apart. Uh, best to take this out just in case any glue leaked in the inside there. And then you can let that dry and that way you can take it um, out all the time if you want to store it or something. I'm just going to carefully set this off to the side. And I'm going to bring this back. Okay, so... We were talking about this before. Now, if you want this to be able to just, like it's not gonna spin like fast like a windmill if it was outside, but if you want a little bit of movement on it, then you can put just a little bit of glue in here so it kind of sits just above, um, so that way the sides aren't glued and you should be able to just gently turn this. If it doesn't matter to you, then I would say just, um, take the peel off the back and stick it in place. If you want this to be permanent, then just peel this off and stick it because they're sticky all over and it's just gonna lock this into place. If you want to be able to see if it's gonna move a little bit, then just take your finger and rub off this adhesive. And And then we'll just glue it in place. So just keep rubbing and grab it off the sides 
There we go. And then you can just set in a little bit of glue in the middle. Now make sure your surface is flat because if this is not so flat, then it kind of prohibits this from sticking right away. All right, so I'm just watching on here, like it probably doesn't matter to some of you, but I can see that the grain is going this way. And for me, I like it that way. So I'm just gonna try and get it to go from side to side. And I'm just gonna gently press in the middle. And you wanna make sure that this is even all the way around and I'm just gonna hold it for a moment and then we'll try and see if we can spin it okay I'm just I don't want to move it too much but yeah I'm gonna give it just a second to just set up because once I start to move it I could just yank the whole thing so and and if it you know if it stuck it in place you know it's not the end of the world but because it's not like you're going to want to sit there and play with it maybe you do I'm not sure <laughs> um okay so i'm just going to give that another moment or two while that's doing that i will be right back okay i'm back that's just been a couple minutes so um so let's try it so yeah, just ever so slightly that can turn if you want it to, but I'm probably just going to leave it. All right. And then now this is going to be hard for me to show you, but the stand should be dry. And now you can just set that into place there. Just like that. Just like that. And now you have this cute little windmill stand that you can decorate with some, you know, you can wrap some greenery around it or you can put another, you know, different stuff. It can be behind your display so you can put some of your other stuff in the front. Um, but yeah, that's a cute little, cute little piece you can add to your everyday decor. And uh, for those of you who will be in our workshops, we'll be able to do this with you in the studio. All right. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. See you.